Good morning, everybody. Good, happy Saturday morning to you. If you find that you're watching this on a Saturday when I am filming this. My Saturday morning started with me setting my alarm for 7.15, I think, because I was like, I'm going to get up early and I'm going to like do stuff and like be productive and stuff. And I woke up at 6.42. This was after sleeping pretty terribly all night, having crazy ass dreams. One of the dreams was my ex-husband and I were still together. He went out and bought three new cars. And I remember thinking, this is ridiculous, like we can't afford it. But the cars were like Mini Coopers or like some, which I, I'm six feet tall, I would never buy a Mini Cooper. But they were mini, I, I remember specifically in the dream, they were supposed to be Mini Coopers, but they also had like um, some gigantic balloon type thing that came over the top of them. So they were super tall and supposedly that was on there for some sort of safety or aerodynamic situation. I have no idea. And all I can think is what the fuck did I eat last night that made me have a dream like that? But all of my dreams were like anxiety dreams. Anyway, look at all my rolls. God, it should really, again, it's like that if I wasn't eating so much stuff, I wouldn't have big rolls and I wouldn't have terrible dreams like that. But anyway, God, it's, I'm a wreck right now. But anyway, it's not why I'm here. I'm here because I want to talk a little bit about 90 Day Fiance. This I'm currently watching. Well, I'm currently watching a lot of things. I'm watching Pillow Talk. I'm watching uh, I, I, Pillow Talk and um, watching 90 Day the other way. And right now I'm watching season three of 90 Day Fiance before the 90 days. So right now we're dealing, this is Darcy meeting Tom for the first time. So I already know what happens with Darcy and Tom from watching it over the shoulder of people who like would be watching it at work and so I already know he's a total douchebag but like so I'm completely biased and I'm wondering had I just met him without knowing the outcome if I still would have thought he was a doucher so I'm curious to know if you're watching this if you thought when you first met him that he was a total douchebag because that's totally how he comes off to me second thing their first date has so many cringy awkward moments like basically she feels like they are boyfriend and girlfriend to the point that this is just a formality that they're meeting and he's totally going to ask her to marry him so when he's like yeah you're going to be staying at your own air and be your own airbnb you're not coming home with me so that we can like sleep in the same bed and stuff she's like like they couldn't have been on more different pages and the awkward of like first meeting like I hate dating in real life because like I would rather go I've said this before I'd rather literally go on five back-to-back -back job interviews than go on a first date because I find them terrifying now obviously I'm, I'm not dating right now because a it's terrible b COVID um c it's terrible D, like my least favorite thing to do is date. Now, and the reason that I would go on a date is because, um, how can I put this? Relations aren't terrible. And, but to get to that, you need to go on a date. So anyway, that just made me sound like a whore. I'm not, I swear to God, I'm not. Anyway, I digress. But what I'm wondering is if watching this show and watching these super cringy moments is going to make me even more set on the fact that I don't want to go on a date or is it going to like fortify me and build up my confidence to make me be like, well, shit, it's not going to be as bad as like Darcy meeting Tom and realizing that while she thought she was in a relationship this whole time, he was just like, we've just been chatting and like, this is just going to be like any first date kind of thing. So, you know what I mean? I, I, I really don't know. Um, the other thing, I, I've talked too long. I'm going to save the rest of this for later. This show is amazing. And all I want to do is like sit here on my couch all freaking day and watch this show. I have stuff to do. 
like I guess to get in a workout I got to do some chores and everything but I really like it's gloomy outside uh, here in the Bay Area it's smoky still like our air quality came back for like about 15 minutes it was like good air quality the other day and then our air quality is back to being terrible because of all the terrible fires that devastated like uh, uh, north of us and uh, so we you know but it's yeah and it's gray there's no sun there's no nothing so it's a I just want to sit here and drink coffee and water and watch this shit all day but we'll see anyway that's it it's a good you know I, I resisted watching the show for years but so now I feel like stumbling figuring out that I do want to sit here and watch this when there's like 8 billion episodes to choose from is is pretty great also terrible because it may affect my what little productivity I do have on the weekend but 